Okay. So, uh, this, um, let me just go through the first verse. We did the first verse, right? Shloka, Tambo, Jasani, but we just go through very quickly, you know. So, for the title, sometimes you can leave title in Sanskrit or you can translate. Um, some publishers, they say you must translate Sanskrit titles into English. So if you go Uma Jukpa, you don't, you can, you don't say Majamaka Avatara. You have to say engaging in middle way or something. It's best to translate, if possible, you should translate into English. Because the reader, they won't know Sanskrit, so they see something like Majamaka Avatara. They, what is this? They don't know Majamaka Avatara, but they do know engaging in middle way. So if possible, sometimes it's simply not possible. <laughs> sometimes it's so difficult. Also, you have to, what we call, back translate. You know, this is Papa uh, Kunjotala Lessons, is translated from Sanskrit into Tibetan. Now you've got to translate from Tibetan back into Sanskrit. It's called back translating. So for this, you need to. Um, Find the text in the Kangyur or the Tengyur. These days we have many online searchable Kangyur, Tengyur. And you can find. You type in Kunjotalala and it comes up with Sanskrit and Tibetan. So it's easy. If you don't have, I, I have, I can give you. It's no problem. If it's in the Kangyur or the Tengyur, then you can find Sanskrit. Tibetan reference page Sangma Nyegere Kange Shiramindu. So this one if you want to translate then Pakpa is normally translated as noble. Noble. Kunchok if this is Kunchok Sum, then obviously three jewels. You can say three jewels. Um Talala is lamp and Sung is Dharani. So you can say the dharani of the noble lamp, maybe noble lamp of the three jewels, or the noble three jewels lamp, something like this. Yeah? And you can say that. The dharani of the noble three jewels lamp, or dharani of the lamp of the noble... Mari. <laughs> lamp of the noble three jewels. Yeah, did it. But if you want to leave in Sanskrit, it's easier. You say Arya Ratna. Ratna in Gere. Arya Ratna Lala Dharani. Just like that. You can put that. But if you put in Sanskrit, you must put all the little diacritics. Yeah. So something like that. And um, Le, Le means you say from. Da 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 da. And then you put. Semi, um, and then you put colon at the end, okay? From Arya Ratna, Arya Ratna, La La La, Tarani, and then you put colon at the end, okay? And the title you put in italics, like this, yeah. So, Devangondra uh, Mata Kebate, maybe there seems to be two understandings here. So, yesterday you can say, now, the word prerequisite. And preliminary, they can be nouns or adjectives. Okay? Prerequisite is mostly a noun. Preliminary is an adjective and a noun. Now, if you say preliminary faith or prerequisite faith, dinore. Because preliminary <coughs> means tomaimba. Right? So if you say preliminary faith, this means there is a preliminary faith and a main faith. We say preliminary talks, main talks. Preliminary faith is not it. Preliminary faith it means uh Ngundro Deba Da So Deba. First you have Deba is Ngundro. De Jela Tso Yongare. Deba Dang so you can't say preliminary faith. You can't say prerequisite faith. What you can say is the preliminary of faith. 
or the face are prerequisite of face. Make preliminary and prerequisite, make it a noun. And it's the prerequisite of faith, the prerequisite which is faith. Okay? Like a mother, like a mother, uh, is generated or is to be generated, right? Generated, produced, right, like that. So you can say, the prerequisite of faith, comma, like a mother, comma, is to be generated. That's one understanding. You know? <laughs> the prerequisite of faith, comma, which is like a mother, generates. So, I don't know. You have two, right? You have... Uh, Kepa may mean Kepa Je or Kepa Jar. You know there's two, right? Kepa Jar and Kepa Je. You know these two? You say... So how you translate this ja 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 ja? How you translate this into English? The truth of suffering should be known. Yeah? Anything else? Should be known? Is to be known. Is to be known. You use passive infinitive. Should be known, is to be known, same. To be known. To know is infinitive. To be known, passive infinitive. Or you could say, you should know. <laughs> you should know. Huh? In English, kunjung demba, kunjungi demba. Ah, sorry. Cause of suffering or origin? Origin. Ah, kung kung ra kunjung kunjung de ba kunjung jua kunjung. The origin of suffering. Bang ba jar. Yeah. Ah. Should be eliminated or. Is to be eliminated. Tatare. Is to be eliminated. Is to be eradicated. Is to be abandoned. Whatever. Or should be. Kokpa demba ngumbar. Ngumba jarbe. Ngumbar. Kokpa demba. Kokpa demba sonokare. Huh? Truth of cessation. Ngumbar jar. Arise, mare. Arise in a langwa. Arise. Ngumbar. Realized? Okay. What do you say? Realized. So whole sentence is? Kunjun Demba Ngumbajar. English? Huh? I, I think you need this because I can't hear you. Speak up. Who's speaking? Uh, huh? What should be realized? Cessation. 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 Then should be realized, yeah. Or realized, yeah. Mm. Known. known, yes. Is to, be, is to be known, is to be realized, is to be made manifest. Ngumbar, ngumbar jarwa, ngumbar. Ah? No, 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 no. Aware is not a, na aware is not a verb. Right? Aware is uh, aware is an adjective. You must do different verb, adjective, noun. They are different. They have different uses. You can't put verb and then put adjective in. Impossible. 
you should aware. The car go go do. Awareness is shishin. Then a shibul kare. Lamgi dem brava. Lamgi dem ba gomba jarve. So, Lamgi Demba is? Huh? Lamgi Demba. The truth of the path is? Is to be? <laughs> is to be what? Practiced. Okay, practiced. Or, Gom is more like what? Meditated. Meditated on. Meditated on. You can't have meditate on its own. You meditate on. Yeah. The truth of the path is to be meditated on. The truth of the path is to be practiced. What did you say? Yeah, practice, meditated or on or upon. Ra. You meditate on something. You meditate on or you meditate upon. Ah. So, Deba Ngundu Matar Kepa, if Kepa means Kepa Jar, then you can say should be generated or is to be generated. Something like this. Then Yonten Tamsha Sung Jin Pewaja it protects all excellent qualities and increases I'm oh, sorry, it protects and increases all excellent qualities. You want to say it develops, okay? It grows no no not grows. First you grow Grow is kewarwa, ke den pelwa, tambu ke den pel. So it it uh, it increases, it develops. You say cultivate, yeah, good. Cultivates and protects all excellent qualities. Uh, it eliminates doubt or removes doubt, dispels doubt. Yeah, shamba kare. Ah, alleviates. Uh? No, not evade. Evade means to go like this. No evade. Evade, no, no, don't use evade. Ah? Huh? Eradicate, yeah, that's good. And chua nom le drill, it rescues or saves from the rivers. Oh, or streams. I don't know, rivers, streams. I think river is better. Stream is nice and gentle. Uh, stream is, is, uh, is a little bit jumbo, jumbo, jumbo. River is... So put river is better. River of river. Then I think maybe you should put a little footnote and say this refers to the rivers of the four sufferings or the rivers of uh, afflictions or karma. You need to put a note. You can't just leave freeze from the rivers because the reader will say, what rivers? Ganga? What, which river? They won't know. Then, Deva Dela Trongesungji, faith shows, or illustrates the city of happiness. Something like that. Okay? It's very, this is verse, this is poetry. Keep it short, keep it simple, keep it beautiful. Short, simple, beautiful. Sik tung tung. Sik mambo mai mambo mai imba. Simple. Le lavochi. What was the third one? Oh, beautiful. Ning Jebuchi. Jebuchi is it. Okay. Now, the next one. Deva Nyokpa Meching. Sem Tang Che. Nagel Pong Shing. Kube Zawanyi. Deva Nordang. Dedang. Kangbe Cho. Kangbe Cho. Kanina. Kangbe Cho. And then, Lakba Shindu. Gedu Zawanyi. So, uh, this first one, Depa Nyokpa Me. Some people say this means Depa La Nyokpa Me. Some people say it means Depe Nyokpa Me. Some people say Depa Koran Nyokpa Me. I don't know. You have to decide. There's actually, the way it's written is Depa Koran Nyokpa Me. But it may mean dekpa, you've got me, right? Me. Deba la, nyokpa yo mare. Some people say the J at the end. Deba nyokpa me ba jeki yores. Some people say that. What do you think? 
But anyway, how you translate nyokpa? Huh? Sorry? Taint? What? Stain. Yeah, stain. Like a, in, in a glass of water. If the water is clean and pure, then we say nyokpa meba. So stain. What else? Fault. Dirty. Contamination. What do you say in a nyokta? Ka nyokta shira yoreta. Nyokta do a kara kara nyokta shira to sa yusha. Trouble ra. Trouble. I think trouble. Yeah. So you must think. You have to be a little bit. Um, when you translate, you have to have some nyam nyam. If you have depa, you then you will understand. Kiran so la depa yuna na la haku re. Nang pachu la depa yuna. Where? Does it mean that faith itself has no nyokpa? Or does it mean the mind? If you have faith, then the mind is without nyokpa? So this deba nyokpa me. It's a little not clear. Then sem dang dang. Dang dang means what? Clear, clear. clear yes. Dangbo je. So does je go with nyokpa and dang or just with dang? Nyokpa dang dang nija je ki ore. Ah, with both or with one? I can't hear. It goes with both or one? Some people say two, some people say one. <laughs> we did this in the other class yesterday, and so a lot of disagreement. So this means, you know, translation is not easy. When you read in Tibetan, you can say, oh, did Pesha di yana, yana di, yana di take care, both. It doesn't matter, because you can think both. It's like a munlam. But if you translate, you can only choose one, not two. If there are two ways, you, could, which you have to choose one. If you can't decide, then you must put footnote. But even I, I know from listening to uh, teachings, you know, and reading teachings, that sometimes even some great geshe, they think, well, you know, even, you know, I read commentaries. They, then is, even they are not sure. So if they are not sure, how can we be sure? Ra. So, I mean, translation, the most important thing in translation, you have to be honest. Don't pretend, oh, I, I do this. Not like this. You must be honest. Honest with your reader. Otherwise, you are betraying the author. This is sungre. If you say, oh, then it's not good for your, your, good si me bro. Down by jet. Ngagel pong. Ngagel? Pride, yes. Pride, yes. Kupa. Kupa? Kupa? Huh? Respect, ra. Sawa? Okay. Sawa is. Deber nor nor wealth is yes, wealth. Ter is treasure countable or uncountable? Do you say a treasure or just treasure? What about wealth? A wealth or just a wealth, the wealth or wealth? Just wealth. You have many of you have many problems with this. The and ah. There are rules. There are rules. If something is general, there is no the. If it's general and there's no plural, it's, there's no the. Not necessary. If it's plural and general, then you can have the or not the. You can choose. You know, the people of the world. People of the world. Huh? Right? You can have it. If it's just general, you don't really need it. Elephants are big animals. Not the elephants. Elephants are. If you want to put the, then you say the elephant is a big animal. That's okay. Or elephants are. So, Norta, Teta, Kangbe Chok. How do you translate Kangbe Chok? Huh? Best legs? Best legs. Uh. <laughs> 
Gong ba, you maybe feet might be better than legs, huh? Legs, leg, legs at the, this bit, feet at the bottom, huh? Why is it the best of legs? Why? Deba, kang be chok kare, kyunsen kare. Because you can walk to uh, Nyangde or wherever. It's the best place to walk, the lum. So it's the best. So the feet walk, legs don't walk. Okay? Feet walk, don't they? So maybe feet here. Yeah. But even best, the best feet sounds a little bit strange. In English it sounds, yes, gemo shoyare. Then, lakpa shindu, gedu tsawa. What does that mean? Gedu tsawa? Gewa? Ah. Yeah, tsawa. Lakpa. Lakpa, yeah, lakpa. Yeah, ah. So, you know, what am I doing? Collecting or gathering? Gathering, collecting, accumulating, something like that. Okay, so just try and do... Now, I've, I've told you most of it, so do this second verse, please, in nice, beautiful, simple, short English. Okay? Come on, Achu, we said, I go, Mare. So, so, kare. Ah. Sorry? Stainless faith. Stainless faith purifies mind. That way. Stainless faith purifies mind. Stainless faith is subject and purifies verb and mind is object. Ching kare ching ching se. Japan yopa me ching. Tini yo marve. Ah. <laughs> stainless faith. I think you see other faith is stainless, isn't it? The other way around? Faith is stainless, comma. Oh yes, you now you've you've grabbed hold of comma now. Good, yeah. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Yeah? Uh? Which? Clears up the mind. Clear you mean up Gogamindo. Clear clear up means after dinner you, you clear up the plates. Not like this. <laughs> Clarifies the mind, clears the mind. Which ago? Do you need which? No, just and. Just and neither faith faith like catch you near the chick nyoba mebare nyiba uh sem damba che those are two different things faith what did you say stainless or faith is stainless and clarifies the mind that's okay that's good anybody else if you have something else please tell me I want to hear what huh sorry I can't understand you. What are you saying? Tr faith dispels troubles, then? And purifies the mind. Yeah. So you're saying faith dispels troubles, that you're making Nokba is the object of faith. And he is saying Nokba is a catcher of faith. This is it different, huh? Nokba is uh, object, Yul. Or is it the is it a, a a feature of faith? As I said, I I'm not sure. I don't know. But if you say faith dispels trouble, you're you're, you're translating word mepa as dispel, right? Hmm. I don't know. Faith dispels troubles. That's true. If you have faith, then sub kushi here. No trouble. <laughs> faith dispels trouble, that's okay. But then faith is stainless, that's okay too. A little similar. Then, Nga Gyer Pong, Sing Kipet Sao Yin Somebody else. Ah, 
If I knew your names, I would ask you, but I don't know your names. Kira, Sunda. Nakia Ponsin, Kupat Sao Yin, Kare. Not the. Not the. He eliminates pride. Pride is general, not the pride. The pride means one specific. Jetapa Marwa, Chitare. He eliminates pride and. Where's verb? Where's verb? I want a verb. Give me a verb. It is. It is. <laughs> if you say it eliminates pride and the root of respect, then eliminate means it eliminates the root of respect. So you need two verbs, ra. Two verbs there, pong and yi. That's good, yeah? It eliminates pride and is, is, is the root. Or you can say foundation. Or base. Tawasana. Yeah, sorry. What? Base, foundation. Check about it. Of respect. Root is okay, but roots, if you say root too many times, then it's like a, you have a tree with roots. That's okay, but we say, you know, root guru. Tawa lama rwa. Root lama. Root guru. So that's okay. You can say root, 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 root. But sometimes, Root means that from root uh, comes, it grows uh, into tree. But mushy or foundation, this doesn't grow, uh, foundation on, on top. So there is difference between foundation and root. Root is like ju, cause. And foundation is just like, you say mushy, uh, you say mushy, mushy. Okay. Debe Nordan, Tertan, Kangbe Cho. So, Debe Nor. Faith is? Faith is wealth. Yes, faith is wealth. Not the wealth. Faith is wealth. What do you say? Faith is wealth, treasure, and the best feet. Best feet is okay. Why not? It's okay. The best feet. Best feet is okay. It sounds okay. Best feet. Not best legs, no. Best legs has another meaning in English. <laughs> you can't say best legs. Best of feet. Some people say chok means supreme. But not really. In English, supreme can only be used for some things. Supreme is in the same way, but it's only in the same way. We say supreme winner, in, 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 or supreme champion, supreme winner. You know, for there's, in, in initiation, there is um, uh, Bumba Chok. Bum Chok, Bumba Chok. Some people translate supreme vase. This is, a, this is Gemma Shore. What is a supreme vase? This is a supreme cup? Supreme vase. You can't say supreme vase in English. You just Bumba is vase. Chok is supreme. Yes. But you put the two together? No. So you have to say something else. Supreme vase sounds really strange in English. You know, a lot of people, non-Buddhists, non-Buddhist Westerners, they read Tibetan and they think, what is this? <laughs> When they read things like supreme vase, what is a supreme vase? You need to make sure that the words, how you say, similar babaje, they they are amchola baba segere. They fit. They go. They are pleasing, pleasing words. Not strange words. Kangbe hmm. chok. You can say chok, also you can translate as greatest, maybe, but the greatest feat sounds a little bit. Strange, you know. Yeah. Then is Okay, so how you start the sentence? Like Like hand, hands or the hands, a hand, how many hands? Only one hand. Only one hand. If you have two hands, you get more. 
You can say like hand. I think not not like like hand is not possible. Hand is countable. You have to say a hand or the hand or hands. Like hands, then it is the root of the root of collecting after a preposition. Na verbs must have the word ing on the end. After usually after a preposition, except for two, after preposition. Verb is what we call a participle of collecting, of gathering. You know, I am. You know, yeah, like this. Yeah, he's very good at swimming, not swim. He's very good in swimming, at swimming, like this. He's very good at talking or something like that. If you have a preposition at, in, on, to, by, from, all these preposition, the verb after is ing, 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 ing. Okay. Good. Okay. Now you can publish. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Drum and door. Half an hour. Uh, um. Okay, let's uh, try and finish <laughs> this. Uh, they are nature. They don't down. They were jumping into good. I'm not ever gonna get the cheat and chimala mine to go to young. She never get to a yambe. She's a key little communishing. Nimota. Jemma Tanda. Satung la sock bed. Namyang gi to tawe. Sumba chamber Sur Shindu Dubea Miongos Dimarwa Tingana Dwe Where Kabado Kabare Into Where are we up to? Ah Lelo eh. Ah, chishil. Oh, tatar, chishil, tatar, chishil. So, chine ringi dubo o nyambe chisuki lo ah chisu procrastination ra procrastination. You know, procrastination means in ing or short word put off, put off, put off. Yeah, mm. verb procrastinate. Yeah, noun procrastination. Yeah, procrastinate means ah sunny je sunny 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 procrastination. Mm. You will not be able to prevent. You will not got minu. You cannot. Minuba. Mituba. Minuba. You cannot. You will not be able to prevent. Stop. Gokpa has many meanings, huh? Gokpa. Sometimes means like Gokpa Demba. Gokpa Demba. That's cessation. Here means stop, huh? Prevent. You know. So usually gok means to prevent, to stop, to cease. Negab negab la kojum in you said it. Mi nuba. You will not be able to prevent, or you will not be able to stop the uh, procrastination. Got ching and ni muk ta. Ni muk. Ni muk. Ni dwe. Ni ni muk. Ale. Mare. Ni dua ni dah muk ni dah ber ah ni dah muk pun ni okay ni lock sana ni lock ni lock ber ni ni dah muk dah cemer tam ter ber sum dua sleep muk muk is translated as um how you say what's it lethargy not lethargy lethargy sometimes please Develop your pronu your pronunciation. I know it's difficult here because you don't hear English so much. Go to Dharamsala. There are many people who speak English. Yeah, but your pronunciation sometimes I can't understand. You know, it's lethargy, lethargy. In English, words are stressed, right? They're stressed. You have lethargy. You have three syllables. One of these will be strong. 
In this case, it's the first one, lethargy, not lethargy, and not lethargy. That sounds Hindi, the lethargy. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's the first one, lethargy. Normally, if there are two syllables, we stress the second one, table, not a table, right? Glasses, huh? Like this. If it, the second one, cupboard. I don't know. What else? Cam. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, kare. Camera. We taught the second one is stronger. Camera. If it's a long word, four or five, it's the one before last. Im imagination. This one. Imagination. Imagination. Congratulations. Stipulation. Stip. Yeah, okay. It, if it's four or five, it's this one. And you need to do it. If you do it, you know. Like this, it makes it, In French, it's different, you know. They always stress the first one. But we stress the second one, yeah. yeah. So, please. Some words, like, uh, if you say, well, karsa. Um, uh, contrast, right? Contrast. Contrast. Contrast, you understand? Contrast. Contrast. If I say contrast, it's a noun. If I say contrast, it's a verb. Right? Contrast is a verb. Contrast is a noun. But it's the same word. You know? Like process. Process. Gurim. Process is a noun. Process is a verb. So it's very important, you know. Please listen. In Sanskrit and Hindi, there is no stress, I don't think. In Tibetan, there is, I think. Ah, oh, ah, oh. no, no. If, you know, in, we you say uh, uh, songkapa, right? Songkapa. Where's the stress? Songkapa. First, second, or third? Second, matter of Songkapa. In English, some people say songkapa, or some people say songkapa. But in Marwa, second, matter or sometimes. So please, we call this stress. Stress. Very important, stress. Where you put the stress? Lethargy. Lethargy, sana mukpa. Okay, lethargy. If you don't know the word lethargy, it's good. Lethargy is a little bit like nyobtro. Oh, like this. After, on a hot day, around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, this lethargy. Oh. That's lethargy. Adjective, lethargic. Here, stress changes. Lethargic. On the second one, lethargic. Adjective. Lethargy. Lethargic. Mm. Never do we put stress on the last one. Never. Unless it's a French word. Like interviewee, employee. E employee is a French word, we, so we say employee. <coughs> it's French. Employer. You know, it's... You have photograph, right? Photograph. Where's the stress? First, second, or third? In the word photograph. Where's the stress? Second. Photograph. Where is it? Ah, photograph. Third. Photograph. Not photograph. Third, third one. Hmm, yeah. Photographer. Where's the stress? Huh? Photographer. Abakava. Listen. Photographer. 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 Second. Nyiba. Photographer. Photograph. Photograph. Photographer. It changes. Everyone who doesn't know English. They say, oh, I'm a photographer. No, you're not. You're a photographer. Photographer. There's no such word in English. Photographer. Ah, photographer. You know, like in, in, in Sanskrit, in, in Tibetan, mantra. You know, you say, uh, omani pemohum. It's wrong. It's omani padmehum. You say, in, in, and you don't say Vajra, you say Benza, oh Benza Bumi, oh, you know, Benza. 
And so when English, some people, when they write, when they write benza, B-E-N-Z-A. But actually it's vajra, ra. Benza, there's no word benza. It doesn't exist. Vajra exists. It's pronounced benza, but it's written vajra. Marve. Mukpa. Mukpa. Dan, tremotam. Tremotam is a ngakkel, marve. I don't know this word. Senseless talk. This ngakkel, chik marve. Ngakkel. Is it the same? Tremotam karere. Tremotam. I don't know this word, tremo. Tremo means what? Don't dan meba kesha terebe. You can get it. Senseless talk means don't don't dan meba. Don meba means no sense. Senseless talk, you know, you talk about anything and just senseless talk, right? Uh, I don't know this word. Anyway. Cover it. Dan satung la sokpa, satung, satung, eating and drinking. You can say, um, if it's an activity, you have to say eating and drinking. A noun, food and drink. Here we're talking about act, um, distractions. These are activities, sleep, lethargy, senseless talk, eating and drinking. So better, food and drink is okay, but eating and drinking, activity, eating. Eating here is a gerund, it's a noun. I like eating, I like drinking. <laughs> um, Last of namyang. Namyang is distraction. It's a good word, distraction. Please remember this, distraction. Namyang. Namyang gi. Du dawas. Du dawa means to spend time. This is passing time. Passing time or spending time is the same. Du dawas. And eh. So it says. Du dawa eh. And eh. Chamba chambu. Sushindo Dupa Myongos Um uh, you will not attain proper achievement which comes through great effort. Samba Chempurgi Sushindu Sushindu is proper correct. Drupa is here Drupa means something you attain. But I think actually Sushindu Drupa. I think here yeah, Drupa is more practice, huh? More practice, proper practice. Here they have got proper achievement. I think it's practice. Um, and I think Sumba Chempu Sushindu Drupa Myong Os you know, proper practice through great effort will not happen. Myong means Yongamaris, it will not happen. So here they have got by passing times in distractions, Bena such as, you know. When you see um, la sokpa, la sokpa, you've got sa uh, tung la sokpa. Instead of saying and so forth, you can say such as, such as eating, drinking, and so forth. Yeah, you will not attain proper achievement. No, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't like this. <laughs> you will not. Hmm. <laughs> I think Sushin to Drupa means. Drupa, I think, means practice. Madhava is a verb to practice. Practice. Proper practice through st great effort. Simply won't happen. Yonga Maris, it won't happen. So, it's a long sentence, right? This is a long sentence. Uh, and it starts with. Um, uh, Gelte. It starts Gelte Jitin Chima La Migne Dupta Chuk Yang China Ringi Dupa or Nyamba Chisugi Lelo Kominushing Nimutan Temo Tandan Satun La Sopa Nanyangi Dutta Wa Sumba Chambo Susumidu. It's a long sentence. Now you don't have to follow the order of the Tibetan, you know, but the hardest thing is getting the order so it it's clear. So here they have started with even if you try to engage in practices, they have started with um, the first one, Gelte Jitin Chimala Minadu. They start there. That's okay. That's the same as the Tibetan. Then it says, You will not be able to prevent the laziness of distraction. Then they follow, Chine Ringi Dupa O Nyamba Gogmi Nupa Gogmi They follow the Tibetan. That's good. 
and then thinking I will do it eventually. Then they jump. They jump a little bit. And then, uh, oh, no, 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 no. The order is a little bit different. China, Ringi, Dubu, oh, number. Anyway, forget it. You can see. You can see how the order is a little bit changed here. This is a long sentence. I don't expect you to be able to translate like this. It's very difficult. You know, if it's a problem, keep a sentence. Make, make short sentences. That's much easier. One long sentence, we get confused. Keep short sentences. Then, cover it. Detar, uh, so, new paragraph. If you are thus seduced, Deta lu so yurin du nesu tu rewe lupa. Lupa. So, um, if you are thus seduced by the hope that this body and life will last for a long time, lu so yurin du nesu last for a long time, rewe lupa. You are seduced by the hope. Lupa means, uh, uh, you, you know, we can say cheated, seduced, beguiled. There are many words for lupa, you know. What's this word you have in Tibetan? Chilu, chilu, chilu. You, de- you deceive death, lupa. Sema seni kare, sadhu mi lua rikbarava. Mi lua. Mi lua re, lua yo mare. Here lua in semaseni milua means uh, incontrovertible, infallible, not deceiving, completely reliable. Ah, there. What is Shaki Pandita says? Chokpo chok milua resa. The best friend is to be not deceived. So you need to think about this word. It comes up in in, in, in summer. Milua. If I if I look at something, this is a glass case. I look at it. I see it as a glass case. It appears as a glass case. It is a glass case. I am not deceived. Lua mebarawa. Therefore, this is non-deceptive. It's reliable consciousness. Semare, milua re. So we say it's in, con- incontrovertible means can't be changed. Infallible means not failing. You know infallible? Infallible? Infallible. The Pope is infallible. You don't know that? The Pope. You know, in the Yishu Kitsuwa, in the Infallible, they say, the Pope is infallible because he is God's to me on this earth. Ra. Hakuzo. Infallible. It comes from the verb to fail. Right. So, infallible means not failing. To fail means to, you know, fail, right? You pass or you fail. So fail, not fa- if you say fallible, like that, that means luare, can luare, you fail. A person who is fallible means they will make mistakes. Infallible means cannot make mistake. It's infallible, right? So sama is miluare because you can trust it. It is reliable. It is infallible. So this is a good word. Some people use this word. Jeffrey Hopkins uses this word. You know Jeffrey Hopkins? No. How can you not know Jeffrey Hopkins? Okay, say that word. Huh? 
Where's the stress? Ah, in con tro ver te bull here. Put stress on this one. Incontrovertible. Say. Incontrovertible. Incontrovertible. <laughs> Incontrovertible means cannot be turned, right? Cannot be changed. Ver, ver means to change, contro means opposite. opposite, in means not, not changed around. So infallible and incontrovertible, they're both okay. Right. Or sometimes, you know, it's uh, cheat. Lua means cheat. Cheat, you know. Don't you say something like uh, uh, chilu or something like that? I, I've seen this. Um, something like this. Chilu. You, you know, it's, it's, a, it's some ritual. If someone is very sick, very, then the, the, you make this choga and you make this, uh, this strange, and you put it outside. You offer to the, uh, to the uh, dongje or whatever. And it's called chilu. You are cheating death. Marabe. So this lua means cheating, um, failing, controvertible. Mi lua means opposite, infallible, incontrovertible, reliable. Here he sent seduce. You know seduce? 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 Huh? Seduce means... Uh, if you're if you're a man and there's a beautiful woman and she's like this, oh, then he she's seducing him. Come here, and he is ah oh, like this. This is seducing. Seducing is like she is tricking him, cheating, she's pretending, and then like a, like a spider. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not good description of women. Sorry. <laughs> But you know what I mean. Seduce means like uh, the Buddha said. Um, the Buddha says, uh, uh, they are like uh, a razor blade. You know a razor blade? <coughs> Covered with honey. Honey. Oh, it looks very sweet. And then you bite. Yeah. This is seduce. They, are, they seduce you. You know adverts on television. Why you say? Kyabdrakroa. They seduce. They say, oh, come, you know, have this shampoo and you'll be happy forever. You know, <laughs> do this. This is seducing. They are seducing. Come on, come on, buy this, buy this, buy this, and you, you'll be happy. Buy this iPhone. And everything is wonderful. Seducing. Seducing. It's like this. Pulling in. Very good words. Here, you will be seduced. Seduced. Why you think? Because you are seduced by. Oh, ngash, ngash, mare, 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 yore. You are seduced. Why? By what? By this hope. Rewa. This body ra la shirab degi inga yun ringbu degi insa. Then the rewa yu. What is seduction? Rewa. The noun is seduction. 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 Please remember this word. Very useful. Very useful. Seduce. Seduction. Ah. Seducing. To seduce somebody. <laughs> Did it. Wow. Ah. You are seduced by the hope that this body and life will last for a long time. Ah, hmm, duh. Deta luso yunin du nesu rewe libanas, then nyapata kurti la sokpala chakpa tapu kis, 
and you will create a strong attachment to goods, services, and the like. Ta nyapa kurti. Here he is translated nyapa as goods. Nyapa means chala uh, roa. Chala, like a nice computer and iPhone. This is nyapa roa. Goods. Goods usually is um, things you buy in a shop. These are the goods in the shop. They're called goods or, or uh, material possessions is also a good word. Nyapa. Material. Nyapa. And kurti. High services. Yeah. I think, again, kurti is like if you are michambo, then everyone gives you and bows down to you and gives you this and this. Oh, you know, kurti roa. It's like that service. Services? I don't know. Service, maybe. Kurti, kurti. They say we should, uh, uh, if you are a mikir, then to the kendumba. You should show kurti, give them money, food, drink, and this kurti raba. Respect, it's okay. Service, serve. The word serve has these two meanings. In a restaurant, the waiter, he serves you, right? Serve, this is service. You say, this restaurant has good service or bad service. That's, that's good, this meaning. Service, that's okay. Service has many meanings. Mm. And and the like. So instead of saying and so forth, and the like, and so forth, and so on, etc. You can say and the like means and so forth. You will create strong attachment. Strong attachment is um, chakpa. Re. Chakpa. Mm, good. Chakpa, drakpo, ke. Chakpa. Chakpa. Attachment, chakpa attachment, dopa desire, mare, de chak desire, chakpa attachment, I think. De chak is desire. In English, some desire is good, some desire is bad. In Tibetan, de chak is bad, but sometimes dopa is good. Chanju sem bi, zoba chanju yonder yonder zoba de sana, that's good, ah dopa. But in English, we only have one word. Desire. Kishing. De gek jebba um, uh, jetu, topala, tang, Chua kundu shindu jugos. Oh, this is ring budwa. Hmm. De kek chepa am jetu chukta topa la dangwa taparo. So you have shetan, uh, timuk, and um, uh, karesa. Shemo, uh, mamala timuk ta ngakia ta trato la soparwa. And so. If somebody, you have all your possessions, material wealth, and then someone tries to um, tries to uh, uh, prevent you from getting them, then you get angry, right? They get jebala am, or if you think they are going to do, you get angry, you know, You're right? If you if you get angry, you get you know, if someone's taking your money, or so if you are a big rich person and you have a lot of a big company, and someone tries to come in, then you get angry. Like so, that's it. They get jeba am jeto topa la, and then you get very angry. Dawa takpos. So here it says, uh, as if swept. They start at the back, as if swept away by the counter river. You'll be immersed in strong hostility towards what prevented you, or what you fear might prevent you from having these objects of attachment. This is long sentences. I am. Yeah, this is not very good. Yeah. Mm. So uh, here, get get jabba means to get jabba, get jabba um or prevent hostility towards what prevented you get jabba or what you fear doubt might prevent you ah uh, you know so get jabba um that's past tense that something has 
stopped you from getting, so you get angry, right? If you want something in a shop and you go there and that, it, that it's gone, oh, you get angry, right? Because if someone has prevented you from getting there, so you get, right? And you see it all the time, huh? You want to go somewhere and then the, the in England, you know, if the, you, you're going some, and then the car won't, the car won't start. So it's because it's preventing you, preventing you. Or, Jetu Dopa means you think, you suspect, you, you are Dokpa. Here, Dopa means Doksun. Doksun Jeba. You suspect, you are suspicious, you fear, you doubt that someone is going to prevent you, right? Then Nidwa. Okay? Um, um, um. Or, what prevented you or what you fear might prevent you. There might be a future future tense. Might prevent you, will prevent you from having these objects of attachment. Right. These ob- uh, that is, these ob- ob- objects of attachment, then you get very angry. Here, he translates hostility. Dangwa, hostility. So this word dangwa, some people say anger, some people say resentment, some say aversion, some say hostility. All a little different, ra. Chitang anger, they're all anger. Anger is a you know, we say fire in the mind. Similar may of anashirwa, fire in the mind. That's anger. Hostility means I have another person I want to, you know. Now we say North Korea, South Korea, there's hostility, right? Yeah? And uh, it's between China and Tibet, hostility. Hostility is like this, you know, hostility. Resentment means I don't like you. Resent. I resent you. You know, you dis. I resent. Aversion means I don't like. You know, I can have. If I don't like tea, I say, oh, I know. I don't. I have an aversion to tea. Aversion. Aversion means I push away. Resentment also means I push away. Hostility means I want to hurt you. Anger is general. So, you know, Shedang, I don't know, you have Shedang, Kondro, Lunglang, Sikpasayade. You know, anger is the best because it's just general anger. You're angry. In England, English, there are so many words for anger. So many words. There are new, what we call newspaper words. They're newspaper, they are always exaggerate. So they have these words. Someone is angry, but they are outraged, they are furious, you know. And then there is, if you're a little bit angry, you're just irritated, or you're annoyed, you know, or you're miffed, or you're upset, or you're resentful. There's so many words for anger, angry. angry. Hate means, no, oh, hate is very strong, you know. Hate. Hate is like, uh, I hate you, I hate you, you know, a really strong dislike is hate. So all these words, very difficult to choose. Here, hostility, okay, it's good, yeah? Strong hostility towards what prevented you, Gekcheba, or what you fear might prevent you. Chetuchupa, kare, hmm. Uh, 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 ra. Uh, la. We have to finish. Okay. So we didn't finish. Oh. So tomorrow we finish. <laughs>